how to calculate random match probability. If you're curious about how to determine the likelihood that a DNA profile matches someone randomly, you're in the right place. Let's break down the process step by step. When dealing with DNA profiles, the random match probability, or RMP, is a key concept. It tells us how likely it is that a random person from a population would have the same DNA profile as the one we're examining. To calculate the RMP, you start by looking at the individual markers within the DNA profile. Each marker has its own frequency in the population. For instance, let's say at one marker location, 16% of the population has a specific combination of alleles, like 10 and 11. At another marker, maybe 4% of the population has a different specific combination. Here's the important part. You multiply these percentages together for all the markers. This is called the cumulative random match probability. So if you have a marker with a 16% frequency and another with a 4% frequency, you multiply 0.16 by 0.04, which gives you 0.0064, or 0.64%. As you continue this process for all the markers in the DNA profile, the overall probability gets smaller and smaller. For example, if you multiply several of these frequencies together, you might end up with a very small number, like one in 7,000 or even one in a million, the formula is simple. You take the frequency of each allele at each marker and multiply them all together. The higher the number of markers you use, the more precise and smaller the RMP becomes. This is because each additional marker reduces the likelihood that a random person would match the entire profile. In forensic science, this calculation is crucial. For example, if a DNA sample from a crime scene matches a suspect's DNA, the RMP helps determine how likely it is that this match is just a coincidence. If the RMP is very low, it suggests that the DNA samples probably came from the same person. To put it into perspective, imagine calculating the frequency of a specific DNA profile in a population. You would look at the frequency of each allele at multiple loci, marker locations, and multiply these frequencies together. The result gives you the probability that a random person would have that exact DNA profile. For instance, if you have 10 loci and each has a frequency of 0.1, 10%, multiplying these frequencies together, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, for all 10 loci gives you a very small number, indicating that DNA, the DNA profile is quite rare. In summary, calculating the random match probability involves multiplying the frequencies of each allele at multiple markers to determine how likely it is for a random person to have the same DNA profile. This method helps in forensic science to assess the significance of a DNA match.